welcome to Selfmade and uh, hello all new or uh, old subscribers from my other channel. Ahoy hoy to you. Um, today I will show you how to make one of those tiny cap chargers and uh, we keep it simple but still it's uh, over 300 volts so don't touch anything be careful and um, let's see how it's made. What we have here is the camera board and we will keep it simple we, I, uh, I'm not a fan of those guys who tell you how to uh, take this off and this off and tote it together because every transformer and every board is a bit different so uh, the best you can do and the simplest way to uh, to do this to make a cap charger or shocker or whatever is you keep it together only thing we were gonna do is we cut this off make it a bit smaller and uh, yeah the battery uh, department so to speak we will just reconnect this and on the other side you know when you when you cut it here you might have to reconnect this to wherever it leads and best is you take a pick of this and a pick of that and no matter what you do you will be able to you know uh, redo any mistake you have made and the components transformer transistor that's the trigger transformer trigger capacitor diode uh, resistor one for the current and one for the tiny LED here the LED is there for indicating charge status and yeah what we don't need is this the flash lamp we don't need the oh. yeah the trans uh, trigger transformer don't need the cap and before you start you want to make sure this is discharged so uh, put it against the metal surface or short it with your pliers or screwdriver whatever you have uh, or you will be shocked <laughs> uh, I was and um, yeah actually you could really use this just this way that's the trigger part you can just Clip this off and um, yeah then just cut this and uh, see where it leads you for a clean cut you take your Dremel stop sparking beach can just break it off nice and clean and just clean up the edges and yeah actually the connection is still there I would keep it that way you know, if it's not working all you have to do is connecting this spot to you know this spot yeah let's uh, hook up a battery and see where it gets us. So that's actually it. Uh, connected a battery to, in this case, trigger transformer. You can just leave it on there. Doesn't really matter. And uh, plus is connected to one of the transformer pins on the side of the board. And uh, yeah, then as mentioned, we have to reconnect transformer plus to, in this case, LED. And um, yeah, that's actually it. Uh, 50 microfarad, 350 volts capacitor, and there should be high voltage. Ta-da! I can barely see the LED. Lighting up, 330. Perfect, and it goes up to, what is it? 380, 360, yeah, probably more. So that's enough for us. And yeah, actually, that's really it. 
Um, now you can glue the tiny board onto uh, the capacitor, you know, or two of them parallel. Just glue them together, glue the top uh, on top of the board, or just uh, down here somewhere. And it's really compact, and uh, you can put the battery and the switch wherever you want. Uh, tiny coil, or the ETG setup, shocker, whatever you want to do with it. Um, yeah. Oh, and be careful. The the high voltage uh, input output is on the battery pin, so. You could technically get a shock when touching the the low voltage side. So yeah, be careful. I would just hot glue the the bottom just to be safe. And uh, yeah, that's it. Next, probably a tiny shocker. And I see you then.